In this video today, I'm going to show you how to modify this particular Cricut Design Space project to make it into separate templates that you can easily use to have a multicolored rhinestone design using just a single uh, piece of heat resistant transfer tape. And so we're starting with this project here. You don't want to size it because I created this particular project in uh, shortcuts a lot. And this is designed for SS10 size rhinestones. Now, if you want, you can resize it just a little teeny tiny bit, and that will make the holes a little bit bigger. Sometimes with some rhinestones, I've noticed on some of these, it's a really tight fit. And so it makes it easier to take out of the uh, template when you're trying to transfer it onto your transfer tape. So you can see over here in our layers group, we've got five different layers. We've got uh, the clear layer. So let's hide them all so you can see the different layers. So this is the one where we use clear rhinestones. This is the one where we use black rhinestones and red rhinestones and yellow or gold rhinestones and blue rhinestones. So when you have them all together and the way you overlay them, this is what it's going to look like. Now you can just cut out the different layers by themselves and then try and visually, one layer at a time, iron them onto your t-shirt. But it's sometimes much easier if you can have them transferred over to a transfer sheet all at one time. So you'll only have to press one time onto your t-shirt. So we're gonna start by creating a shape. We'll do a square. And let's make the color a little bit lighter so that we can see through it. And I'm going to send it to the back. And I'm going to resize it so that it fits well around the ship. So this is what we're going to use. So I'll move the ship out of the way and I'm going to duplicate this five times. And that's because we've got five layers. Then I'll select them all and I'm going to align them to the center so that they're all overlaid together. And Let's right click on this and we are going to send to the front and we'll overlay it on this. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup. So now we're going to just work one layer at a time. At this point you don't want to move anything. And so I'm going to hide all the layers except for my clear layer. So I'm going to hide those layers and then with the squares, I will hide all but the top square. Now I'll select both of these and I'm going to slice. And so now we don't need that one. And we don't need that one. So what that leaves us is just our template here that uh, we've cut the little holes in that the rhinestones are going to go in. And so I'm going to select this and let's change that to the color that we want for the rhinestones. In this case, this is the clear layer. And so I will just have that back template show what the color is that we want to use. So now I'm going to hide that. And
And then I'm also going to display the next color, which is the black, and the next square. Select them both, and we'll slice. Now we can take out these middle ones. There's going to be two layers, the original black. And then once again, this is our template with the holes cut out. This was our black layer, so let's change that color to black so that we know that when we cut this out, it's, this is the one that the black rhinestones are going to go in. So we'll go ahead and hide that, and let's display the next one. And that particular square, this is the red, we'll select them both, and we'll slice. And now we've just got this, and we'll change that to the color, which was red. And now we'll hide the red, and next we'll do the gold. We'll display one of our squares, select them both, and slice. Remove these two small ones out here, and we'll delete those because we don't need them. And we'll keep this yellow because we're going to use yellow or gold for that, and so we'll hide it. And then now we're ready for our last layer, which is the blue. And then we'll also display our last square. Select them both. And we'll slice. And I'm just going to select this last one here. And we'll change this to blue. Since it doesn't matter now if I move them, so I can just move that out of the way and we'll select those and delete them. And so now what we've got are our different colored templates. Now what I usually like to do, unless I plan to use these a lot, is I'll just cut these out of a heavyweight cardstock. And then I will start with the base and then just fill them up as they go. And then this is how you can prepare templates to make it a lot easier to put all these colors onto a single heat transfer tape so that you only have to press one time instead of five different times. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.